Hello lovelies, our predictive papers for this year's GCSE maths are already out and based on the reviews and the feedback you are loving them. Now, just like last year we've gone through the past papers, looked at the trends and the patterns and we've used those when we've written these papers. As well as the downloads, we've done video walkthroughs of papers showing you how you can lay out the answers and pick up on clues that the examiners have left for you to help you with your answers. You can try the papers by pausing after each question comes up, having a go at it yourself on a bit of paper, and then going over the answer to Charlotte in the video, or just take the lower her approach to revision and watch her do all of the work. Now, my advice for GCSE Maths is to do as many papers as possible. So if you're doing it at Excel, you can try AQA papers, extra revision, and the other way around. That way you'll get the paper specific to your exam board and some extra bonus revision. You can get everything individually or you can get our boot camps that have both exam boards, both for all the papers and all the walkthroughs. Now, we know that topics that come up on paper one are unlikely to come up on paper two and paper three. So we're going to be releasing new versions for paper two and paper three for both NXL and AQA and we can update the predictions. These will also go into the boot camp at no extra cost. So the best value revision because it includes the six current papers, three AQA, three NXL, all the walkthroughs, and then the four more papers that we're going to be writing. Now, the key thing to remember in any maths exam is that students will always lose marks if the examiners can't read the numbers correctly. Numbers that are written incorrectly, really hard to the exam to tell the difference, three and five, four and nine, one and seven, or even six and zero. You need to be secure in your core math skills, long multiplication and long division, be secure in the basics. This is something the grade seven, eight, nine students often miss out because they think it's easy. This can be inequalities, prime factors, means, medians and modes. Every single year, the examiner's report tells us that lots of top grade students lose the really easy marks at the beginning of the paper because they've assumed the skill and they've not checked their work over answers. So squares, cubed roots, decimals, all things like that, fractions, don't assume they're easy. Percentages in standard form of topics have come up across subjects. I'm always talking about these in science, so please make sure you are confident at these for math and science. Factorising expanding brackets, so again your core algebra skills, manipulating algebraic terms, including harder things like including fractions in that. Probability and all the diagrams that come with this. Examiners probably say that the best answers have sketches to help working out, so if you have a probability question, try to use diagram or Venn diagram to help you with that. Your graph skills, so cumulative frequency, plotting, finding solutions from graphs, curves and tangents to curves. These are lovely, lovely questions if you've practiced them. So shapes, volumes, areas, cubes, ring out the area and the parameter of things, anything to do with triangles, so you're confident in your triangle skills, so working out the area, but also Pythagoras and circles as well. Are you familiar with the different terms? Are you familiar with different equations? And then one of the other big things that we'd really like you to focus on is your vectors and using the correct notation for these. These are the sort of things that you don't need a calculator for. There are a few other little bits that are obvious things for you to remember, like your exact values to trade. If that comes up as a one mark question at the beginning of the paper, it is an absolute gift as long as you've learned it. And then another topic that you don't need a calculator for are your certs. So can you manipulate algebra, can you manipulate complex things using certs and then not have to have a calculator for this? Good luck guys, remember we're here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.